Hello there everyone, it's Blue Triceratops here, back with another one of my Fallout 4 build videos, and this is a hunter's cabin that I've built on Spectacle Island. I wanted to show it off with regards to decorating your settlement. So what I've got here is very easy to expand no matter what theme you're building, no matter what size of settlement. The basic rule is, how do you divide up your building or room to look like it's lived in? Um, you do so by designing areas with different functions. So what I've got here on the first area is sort of a workshop area because obviously yeah, if you've built a shack, if you've survived and thrived and made it in the wasteland, you need somewhere to work on all of your hardware. So I put a lot of workbenches in place, lots of little boxes, tools and paraphernalia that way around and uh, it makes a nice little workshop section but you also need somewhere that you're going to eat. Somewhere you're going to handle all the food, the prep, the uh, various things. So lots of furniture around, lots of little bits of food and uh, junk with, Jared, you know, various other purposes. This is all done um, within the vanilla game. There's no mods for this um, and it's all done on the PlayStation 4 just for reference in case any of you are wondering. And next up, I really like this. It's a little lounge area. Um, so feel free if any of your building settlements just copy and paste and rip this sort of stuff right off and, and you can slap this into basically any settlement um, but if you are a hunter you're gonna have lots of these animal heads you're also gonna have lots of hides that you're gonna make use of so I wanted to put down some barrels where they'd be drying skins and of course a few weapons lying around as well um, I did like to go for the it's it's a very well kitted out hunting cabin um, it does kind of break uh, break the lore a little bit in him having glass museum cabinets on Spectacle Island, but I quite enjoyed it. Um, and next you go upstairs and have a little bit of a sleeping area here. Um, again, more creature heads and so on because this is a very successful wealthy trader and hunter who prefers to live on his own. Um, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys the view from the bathroom which is uh, absolutely wonderful. So the concrete that you can see there around the generator is because I originally had populated this island with captured death claws and let them loose and uh, I had a few death claws roaming around the island which looked great but I decided I'd want to change it up a little bit because an entire island populated by predators doesn't strike me as the kind of place you'd want to set up your hunting cabin. But you could set them out as sort of guard animals would work pretty well. Um, and that's why the house is up on stilts, you know, you obviously want to be above whatever is living on ground level. We've got a little bit of a rooftop garden because obviously if you are, um, if you have the space available, you would be growing things on your roof as well if you could. Um, because as you can see, the little island is entirely populated by rad stags, deers and the like. I have no settlers here, but uh, I did want to show it off as uh, some examples of how you can lay out junk and various themes of things in order to give different areas a very lived in feel to them. So feel free to like or dislike at your pleasure. I have a couple more links should be appearing on the screen at the end of this video that can show you a few of my longer videos regarding uh, other settlement builds and little Fallout 4 ability things. So thanks for watching. I will leave you here and goodbye.